Hi everyone, Lua here with another quick tutorial. Today we'll talk about how to keep pages hidden in Confluence Cloud using page restrictions, and then remove those restrictions automatically once the page has been approved, using Kamala Document Management. This is a very simple and handy feature for distributing an approved page to your whole team. Here I have a page with an approval workflow applied using Kamala Document Management. And I don't want other team members to see this page while I'm editing it, so I'll need to add page restrictions using Confluence's built-in tools. In this window over here, I'm logged in as another user, and once I refresh, you'll see that I can no longer view the restricted page. Now, I need to configure the approval workflow to automatically remove those restrictions. In this case, the workflow has two states. It has a review state and a final approve state. So what I want to do is set it so that when the page is approved and reaches the final approve state, any user restrictions I've added will be automatically removed. To turn on this feature, just access the space settings, content tools, and document management. Here we can see my workflow, which is applied to this space, and under settings, the remove restriction option. And it's good to note that this feature only works for space workflows, not for those that are applied individually to a page. So I'm just going to turn that on and save. And then I'll return to my page. So let's see it in action. I will approve the page. And this will bring our workflow to the final approve state. And now once I refresh the page, you'll see that the restrictions have been automatically removed. Now if I go over to my other account and refresh the page, you'll see that the content is now visible. As you can see, removing restrictions at the final state is very easy to set up. If you want to remove restrictions at an earlier state, you can do it by adding a trigger to the JSON code of your workflow. That's a bit more complicated and we won't be covering how to do that in this video but you'll find documentation for it on our wiki and our support team is always available to help you at any time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.